Good morning. This is the Ramblings of an Indisciplined Mind podcast for Friday, November 13th, 2015. So yeah, it's Friday the 13th. Oh my God. But the key word there is that it's Friday. I've got my Starbucks. You know, so far, the day's going good. Um, I've got my Starbucks. They had decaf ready for me when I walked in. Plus, I've already written a thousand words today. Plus, yeah, I'm not a super. I'm not the superstitious type, so I don't. Uh, I don't uh, get all bent out of joint about Friday the thirteenth. You know, I didn't move my work at home day to be today instead of yesterday. I could have, but I didn't. So I was, I didn't really have a topic for today, so I went trolling on the Facebook, I guess it's trending stuff. I hope it's not trending stuff. I think it's just news updates. I really hope it's not trending. I'll tell you, some of the stuff on there today that I'm not going to waste a lot of time on is just ridiculous that we consider this something akin to news. You know, one of the items on there was that Jennifer Lawrence, who plays Katniss Everdeen in the Hunger Games movies, she was at a premiere, I forget where, somewhere overseas, Milan perhaps? Somewhere overseas. But she was at a, at a premiere on the red carpet and she stumbled, <gasps> you know, continuing the, um, the, the behavior when she fell at like the Academy Awards or something in 2010. Oh my gosh! You know, I see some of those shoes those women wear. We should have women falling all all over the darn place, but uh, I'm not going to get into that. The other bit of news that was on there, there were a couple things. It was just like, seriously? Uh, The other bit of news was that, that that made me laugh out loud, literally, was that David Hasselhoff has legally changed his name to David Hoff. I'm kind of wondering if he changed his middle name to be The. <laughs> Since people suddenly call him The Hoff. It's just like, wow, really? That's, that's the best we got. The one thing, the one news item that I did think was of genuine interest was that in China, archaeologists have found a couple 2,000 year old tombs. And I need to, I didn't have time to read the whole story. I need to read the whole story, but that reminds me, you know, I I have an interest in archaeology. And not just because of Indiana Jones. But it's just, I I find it interesting, the thought of digging up the past, of, of finding, you know, clues about how people lived. You know, I've talked about my my affection for reading stories where people are in, you know, ruined post-apocalyptic cities and things of that nature. And I think it stems from that. You know, a number of years ago, probably 20 years ago or something, I subscribed to this, I subscribed to this magazine called Biblical Archaeology. And it was interesting because it was it was focused on archaeology, predominantly in the you know, Mediterranean area in the Middle East, uh, and and it had some interesting articles about you know trying to tie what they're finding on these archaeological digs to see is there you know does this contradict something in the Bible? Does it does it uh, back up something in the Bible? It was a cool magazine because it didn't really have a bias. It wasn't like they set out to say, okay, we have to twist every archaeological find, you know, to match something in the Bible or just, just, you know, uh, substantiate something in the Bible. Uh, Because there's a lot of history that's not in the Bible. That's just kind of a fact of life. But but one of the things I used to love is they had this section where you could, there were like upcoming archaeological digs where you could sign up as a volunteer to go work to dig for a week or two. So, you know, you'd have to get yourself to Egypt or to Sinai or wherever the heck it was going to be. 
and they weren't paying you. You know, so it was like you're taking your vacation and going and working on an archaeological dig. And to me, the idea of doing that was and is just fascinating. You know, I know intellectually it's probably going to be a time of hot, sweaty, drudgery with you know, very little chance of actually finding anything. But I, I guess that's a bucket list item for me. That would just be, I think that would be fun to do. You know, and and you know to go to some of these places and, and, and you know try to be a part of an archaeological dig and try to be there where you're finding something uh, from the distant past. I think that would be fun. Yeah. So I, I don't know if the magazine is still around. I should actually look and see. Maybe there's a website or something that. You know, they've shifted to or what have you, but uh, what other publications are out there like that? But that would be that would be a fun thing to do. Maybe like when I retire, to go and to go and do that before my body totally breaks down on me and I can't be on my knees in the dirt for a week. <laughs> so yeah, archaeology. It's nothing I'd probably want to do as a profession. But I think it'd be fun to do at least once. You know, do it once, see how you like it. But I think it'd be fun to do and go to go to some place, you know, like that, and and be and be digging in the dirt. And maybe I'll find me a Velociraptor. Not a real live one, you know. Granted, I hope not. You know, that's all I need is to unearth like some tomb and to break open the door and there's a big velociraptor standing there that eats me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that sounds like a book uh, Jake Bible would put out. He's in the, he's in the monsters books. He'd, he'd have some weird complicated way that velociraptors have been breeding in this tomb for years munching on, I don't know, the mummified remains of an ancient Egyptian lord and his 300,000 servants that were buried with him. I know, I'm making stuff up. Maybe that'll be next year's nano project. <laughs> but I'm looking forward to uh, tomorrow being Saturday. I'm going to get a lot of the decorating done for the man cave. I've got a lot of the putting stuff away done. I've got a little bit more on that to do. I, I'll do that also tomorrow. Uh, and then i got to get working on the recording studio. Uh, on my final, my final, final, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Final configuration for that. I was kind of designing in my head over uh, while I was doing my morning evolution, so. As far as what it is, I actually need to, to build something, get out my tools, and be manly and build something. And uh, so I need to take some measurements, and I actually might try to model it a little bit. If I can find, there should be something either online or... I, I was looking at my installed programs, and there's this like Microsoft 3D modeler that's on there. I'm like, well, what is that? I haven't looked for it yet. I need to find it kind of curious about that if that's something of you know something that I could use to do something like that or if that's for rendering like 3d animations either way I'm, I'm interested in checking that out but uh, I'm at uh, nine and a half minutes I think that'll be it for today I am planning on being in the car tomorrow which means I am planning on a podcast so assuming that happens, I'll be talking to you then. So, be seeing you. <laughs>